This week, the drama storm between Fousey Tube and Colossalus Crazy keeps on growing. Milo Yiannopoulos couldn't raise the security fees, so one of his university events was cancelled. And Liz Reptile found that the best way to get in touch with her inner child is with a coat hanger. Okay, here we go. You all ready? Weekly Black Recap. Recap. Okay, here we go. Is that a taco? Welcome back, everyone. I'm Agent of Doubt. This is the Weekly Flags Recap. And please, stop flagging each other. That's the whole reason I do this series. And I don't endorse anyone that I'm talking about in this video unless I explicitly say so. Updates this week. I'm just going to leave you a whole bunch of links to people talking about Tube versus Colossal is Crazy. This drama keeps on getting worse since I mentioned it last week. Um, special story this week. There is a person at the register who wrote an article who is uh, perpetuating the conspiracy theory that Google themselves have framed Samsung for DMCAing everyone who had mods for Grand Theft Auto with their Samsung notes being the grenades in the video game and they're throwing the, the cell phone it was and it was blowing up. And the reason for this uh, is Google has their new Pixel phone coming out, and so they wanted the news that Samsung's Note 7 was blowing up to go viral and keep staying in people's minds in order to associate their, their brand with blowing up phones and you know put Google's Pixel in a better light. So link to that conspiracy theory. That's a pretty good one um, because how do we know who actually... Uh, DMCA down a video. I mean, you can look at the information that Google gives you. Um, in the news this week, we had Facebook has relaxed some of its censor censorship policies. Uh, Twitter is about to fire about 8% of their workforce, and how does that uh, relate to censorship here in, in the social media sphere? Well, what are they going to do to keep up their standards well, they're probably going to use their, their user base to do work for them. And, and, and how well does that work? Well, it, it just creates more censorship. Uh, and in the University of Maryland, the, there were security fees raised on Milo Yiannopoulos and, and the group that was trying to get him to uh, speak at the University of Maryland. And that is, uh, it may be illegal, the way that they did it. But anyway, they, they couldn't raise the $6,500 that they were going to charge them for security. So the event was canceled. And so that's that leads to the question, can any university who doesn't think that they want Milo to speak at their university, can they just say, well, there, there might be a potential for violence, so we need to have raised security for this to the point of thousands of dollars that you can't raise. So cancel the event. That could be a special form of censorship in and of itself. On with the flags. In the gaming community, we had Chaotic Shadow 24, Amon 519, Flash 7821, GHAMVS, Beck Grawl got flagged for giving away a stun gun, and I'm not even sure that this is a real stun gun. This could be an in-game stun gun but maybe someone figured it was a real stun gun. Uh, Wheatley, uh, Wairakas, Dragonock, Dead Gaming Live, MRB724Gaming, and Brian Rowe got a DMCA claim for a video about the Samsung Note 7 GTA mod with turning the grenade into the cell phone so that you can throw it and it explodes. And in the great debate community, we had Suit Yourself, who had a video flagged uh, about a little more than a week ago because of footage of ISIS cutting a man's head off. 
and some people feel like that's too graphic for YouTube or it paints Muslims in a negative light, but um, he, he was trying to make a point by using that footage. In the Rad RA community, we had Anderson Henderson, who uh, has uh, since then had to private most of his videos uh, for what he said in that video that got flagged. In the racial commentary community, we had True Freeman versus Tommy Sotomayor become a very big drama, and I'm going to call True Freeman's flagging Flag of the Week because the most people talked about it. Um, but also, True Fe Freeman didn't just get flagged on YouTube. True Freeman had his Patreon flagged down after he called for Tommy Sotomayor's Patreon to be flagged down. And uh, a whole bunch of people talked about it. Many links in the description box. Uh, Piper Boy Williams was also flagged. Uh, no action in the YouTube wrestling community. And in the unaffiliated category, we have... Joshua Jakes of... Ugh, God damn it. Joshua Jacobson XV, Comedy Lizard, Dead Archer 312, Haha ha Brandon, Lovely Lex, Gwendelk, Symphony, Declined for Credit, Lozo, Dale Pendlebury, Chess ZZ, JEF, Mr. Donut the Donut, Phantom Dread, James Weirman, Midnight Banshee, Pixel Perfectionist, Sun Gohan, Lyrics for All, Keatsta, and Mr. Hall of Fame Bad Attitude Bullet. On the wrong side of YouTube this week, we had Homegrown Caper, who was flagged on a video for burning spiders. Um, people must have felt that those spiders have feelings, and so therefore you shouldn't be taking lighters to them. Also on his channel, you can find videos of him dipping spiders in bleach and doing all sorts of stuff to um, invertebrates. Also, uh, videos from Leafy is Heroin um, containing porn shots and Yuri Channel, which uh, had some lesbian manga content on it. Flag Watch this week. Don't make a reaction video to especially the Season 7, Episode 1 video of The Walking Dead. But don't do any reaction videos to The Walking Dead because AMC is about to come out in force and clean house. Watch what I just said there because that's what's going to happen next week. I will have a whole bunch of people um, complaining about copyright strikes from AMC. A uh, bunch of random shout-outs in the bottom of the description, and please, stop flagging each other. I'll see you next week. Do you have a flag?